Hello everyone, it's me again, Kirsty, and pow! <laughs> I need a new journal for the second half of this year. So yes, my current journal, which I'm using, is almost completely full at this point, but we still have half of a, another year to go for this year. <laughs> so I will be setting up my new journal, this one from Arthur and Olive, which was designed in collaboration with Plant Based Bride, in this video. That was a heck of a long sentence. <laughs> So I, as I said, we're pretty much halfway through the year and my journal is being filled every day and it's almost completely full. And so I will need a few spreads for the second half year. And yes, that is essentially what I will be doing in this video. First off, I wrote my name on the first This Journal Belongs To page. And then I took care of my title page, which just as I did for my other journal for the beginning of this year, only consists of the number of this year, which is 2022, and added this tiny little subheading below it, which just says part two. There were a bunch of twos that I had to draw on this page. <laughs> so because I want everything to tie in with the design of the journal itself and with its cover. I, just as I did for my previous journal, I decided to keep everything visually as close as possible to the cover of the notebook. So that is why I tried to keep everything in green. And I added all of these little olive branches to the number of 2022. And I think that looks really cute. For all of the other spreads and for this one in this setup, I again added borders to them because I like the look of that. And as soon as I did that for the title page, and even though I had measured everything out, it looked like it was not exactly in the middle. But <laughs> it's it's not that bad. It I mean, I do like that it's a little further up, but it should have been a little further to the right. Anyhow, <laughs> after my simple title page, I moved on to my next important page, which is my In This Journal page, which is more or less like an index, which I don't use anymore because I just don't find them useful at all. And everything is pretty much the same for every setup in every month in my journals. So actually, this page only gives an overview of the first few pages that I I'm going to be setting up. You're going to see me write those down <laughs> in a second. And the rest of the spread is only a few boxes where I can show off <laughs> the different themes that I will be using. So I think there are a couple of YouTubers who do a themes of the year kind of spread somewhere in their journals. I always do that at the very front and have been doing that for a few years now. And I really like the look of it because it gives you or it gives the viewer of my journal a nice overview of what is going to be in this journal in the end. And it always looks really, really pretty when it's filled out. I finished off the spread by adding gold watercolor to the little olive branch that I tried to keep as close as possible to the one on the cover of this notebook. And yes, that made everything a little more shiny and added a pop of gold, which I really enjoyed. Next up, I'm going to be setting up my future log, which I simply titled with 2022 slash 2023 and surrounded it with two tiny olive branches that I will be coloring soon. <laughs> but first, I endeavored to write out all of these tiny little numbers and calendars for this upcoming year. So there's six months of 2022 and then another six months of 2023. And yes, <laughs> I did have a little hand cramp just in between writing all of these numbers. This spread has proven to be very useful to me in the past. And yes, if there are any appointments that I need to jot down that are going to be happening in like three months from now, and I only have set up my journal for say July, and the appointment that I want to note down is in October, then I don't have to jot it down on a separate piece of paper and it's being lost. So that's what my future log is for. <laughs> I can just jot down whatever appointment I need to remember below the little calendar. And then as soon as I will be getting to setting up the month for that month, <laughs> then I'll just add in all of the appointments that I jotted down 
a few months in advance. And apart from that, I find it looks very aesthetically pleasing to have all of these little numbers written out. And it's just super useful and fun to watch me do this in a fracture of the time that it actually took me to set it up. <laughs> now, because this is only my half year setup for this journal and it's not my full year setup, it is a little shorter than the one that I did for the whole year. I still have enough space to fill out the spreads that I set up for the whole course of one year. Like my highlight spread, for example, is a spread that I only want to have in one of the journals and that will comprise the highlights of a whole year and not just half a year. And my new discoveries spread, which you may or may not remember, is the place where I keep track of all the media that I consume. I still have enough space to write down books that I will be reading and I don't have to set those up again. Now, long story short, this page is for my monthly and weekly tasks which is more or less a when did I last spread. So it's a place for me to keep track of everything that I need to get done on a regular basis, like household chores or watering specific plants that I only need to be watering once every fortnight or every week. And yes, I started off this spread with a title and I slowed it down a bit so that you can see how long it actually takes me to, to write those and you can see what I'm actually doing with my little ombre effect where I go over each letter again just on the top with the same color that I'm using. I trace it with a thin fine liner and then add my little hollow drop shadow next to the letters. I hope that made sense. I think you could see what I was doing a little better in the close up. My explanation came a little late but anyway. <laughs> For the rest of the spread this is just a couple of grids with all of the tasks that I need to get done on a monthly or a weekly basis. The grid on the top is for monthly tasks and then the two grids on the bottom are for the weekly tasks. That is why the bottom ones are bigger and are just numbered through with all of the numbers for each week of this half year and then the one on the top only has the first letters of each month. And each of my tasks is represented by a tiny little icon. And finally, because I still had this empty page and I didn't have any spreads that I needed exactly, I went ahead and did a quote page, which I have not done in forever. <laughs> you can see that I sketched out everything in pencil before, just so that I knew where everything was going to go. And then I used a couple of different pens and fonts to write out this quote. <laughs> I will link all of the things that I'm using in this video in the description box below. And if you have any questions as to what I'm using, check out the description box. All the supplies are linked there. I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> I did not decorate it all too much. I only added those two banners at the top and at the bottom and then in the middle I added these cute little olive branches that I'm going to be filling out with colour in a second. <laughs> the cheesy quote I picked says, if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And I think that, yes, I'm. it is cheesy, but it's also very true. <laughs> and I hope that it will motivate me in this upcoming half year to pursue my goals and to make things happen and to get out of my comfort zone for those things that I care about and that I want to get done by the end of the year. And so, yes, if I want something extraordinary and I want a big goal to be reached, then I will have to do something that I've not done before. So I think that for this journal, it will be a motivator for me. <laughs> and I hope that I flip back to it often, which I will, because right next to it are all of the tasks that I need to get done. And that that is a spread that I have to work with very regularly. So anyhow, that is it for my half year setup for 2022. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.